Hello, everybody. Okay, we do have one matter left. It'd be Mr. Jerron Jordan, although we, of course, need to wait till he appears via Zoom. So we'll sit tight for a moment. I think we can probably go off the record for a minute if we want to. All right, we are back on the record. Jordan. Hello, sir. Hello there, Mr. Jordan. Good morning, sir. We are here on the record in Bellingham. I need to go through some information with you, sir. I'm going to walk through everything with you. This is here for an arraignment in Bellingham Municipal Court. For the record, it's Mr. Is it Jerron Jordan? Is that how you say your name, sir? Oh, this for the record, I want to say this first. Um, in Bellingham, in the court, officially, you can look there on your computer, me, me change my name to Starlight. They, I, I, I both to lot. They star, they Starlight. You can see it there in the court in the Bellingham. Okay. I am not seeing it on my docket, but I am happy to refer to you by your name. So. No, but what I'm saying, also, what I'm trying to, what I also, what I like to say is that when my name changed, before we get to that, I had a quick question. I don't, I wanted to know, because they said the, the court or the warrant was for a Bellevue. I not know where the Bellevue is. Also, I wanted to know, when did this occur? Also, Mr. I wanted Jordan, to you're know asking good questions, and I'm going to answer all of them if you'll let me just go through uh, what I have oh. to review with you, okay? And also, I live in Bellingham. Why did they bring me all the way down here to school? All right, let's start at the top. I'm going to answer all of your questions, Mr. Jordan. First, let's start with the charge, the warrant. I'll go through your rights with you. That's what I need to do. And then if we get to the end of it and you still have questions, obviously I'll try and answer them the best I can. This is uh, not a Bellevue case, to be clear. It's a Bellingham case. So uh, that, that. just to be crystal clear there. So, Mr. Jordan, it is one count of malicious mischief in the third degree. The allegation is back all the way from July 26th of 2021. So we're talking a little over three years ago. This is my okay. understanding. And just to be clear, uh, counsel, this was a graffiti alleged case. Is that correct? That is correct, Your Honor. So this is an alleged graffiti case in downtown Bellingham, Mr. Jordan. It is just an allegation at this point to be crystal clear. You're presumed in. But that's an allegation. Well, what? So, so Mr. Mean... Jordan, Mr. Jordan, please just let me go through it with you. You can ask me questions when I get to the end, but let me just review everything with you because I think I'll answer most of your questions. Um, so it's one count of malicious mischief, third degree. And uh, like I said, it's the allegation, which you are presumed innocent of, is that essentially you graffitied on, you know, somewhere downtown Bellingham uh, back in 2021. Now, the technical charge is malicious mischief third. That is a gross misdemeanor, Mr. Jordan, with a maximum penalty up to 364 days in jail and a $5,000 fine. That is just the maximum. That is not necessarily, even if you were to be convicted, what you would be facing. The allegation itself is that you knowingly and maliciously caused physical damage to the property of another um, under an amount of $750 in damage. Now, your rights, I'm going to pull up the rights form right now, Mr. Jordan. I want to make sure we're all on the same page about that. You do have the right to be represented by an attorney. Mr. Lockhart from our public defender's office is in our courtroom today, and when he speaks, you'll see him. So we can only show one person at a time on the camera, Mr. Jordan. When Mr. Lockhart speaks, you'll, you'll see him. Um, he is appearing on your behalf here today. You do also have the right, um, or rather you are presumed innocent, as I said earlier. So unless and until this charge is proven beyond a reasonable doubt, Mr. Jordan, you remain innocent. You have the right to a speedy trial. You also have the constitutional right to a jury trial, unless we, you specifically waive that right. You have the right to see, hear, and question all witnesses who may testify against you. You have the right to call witnesses on your behalf. You also have the courts, uh, or in the court, uh, can subpoena them at no cost to you. You also have the right to testify on your own behalf, Mr. Jordan. 
and you have the right to remain silent as well, and your silence cannot be used against you. If you are convicted after entering a not guilty plea, you'd have the right to appeal that conviction to superior court within 30 days. Additionally, if you are not a United States citizen, conviction to this crime could carry negative immigration consequences. So those are your constitutional rights. Now, Mr. Jordan, as far as why you were transported to SCORE, I can't give you, I don't necessarily know exactly why, because that's a choice of law enforcement. But what I can tell you is that the city of Bellingham has a contract with the SCORE jail down in King County. And if the Whatcom County Jail, which is run by the county sheriff's department, if they decline to book someone there, Bellingham PD has an option to take someone down to SCORE and have them booked at that facility. So I can't tell you why they chose to do that, but I can tell you that that, is, uh, that contract is in place and that that is certainly a possibility for any case here in Bellingham. Now, we're going to enter a not guilty plea on your behalf here today. I'll just confirm with Mr. Lockhart, is that the request? Or enter a not guilty plea? Yes, Your Honor, we would ask to enter a not guilty plea. So, Mr. Jordan, I am going to enter a not guilty plea on your behalf today. That preserves all of your constitutional rights and all of your defenses in regard to this charge. And we are going to address... I also want to let you know that I'm autistic and the speaking very fast, it confuses me. Okay. All right, so I want to say, what does not get... Do I go home, back to Bellingham today? So that's... I was actually just going to address that. So what we're going to do, Mr. Jordan... We need to address release conditions. I'm going to hear from the city attorney. I'm going to hear from uh, Mr. Lockhart here, and then the court will make a decision on whether you are released here today. So let me hear from the parties, and then I will certainly make a decision very shortly. So sit tight. And then I get to, do I get to say something too afterwards? After they talk, do I get to talk? You can speak, but here's what I need to caution you, Mr. Jordan. Everything you're saying is being recorded right now, so I don't want you to I talk just, about just, the facts of the case. What I just want to do, I just want to go, I want you to look in your computers. You can see that they changed me name. The beautiful, the beautiful judge there, he blow the bubbles on you when you change your name like this. And it made me a new person. And I also want to say that I have permanent artworks in the WCC college there, and I'm a pillar of positivity in the community there since I've been Okay, I'm going to take all that into consideration, Mr. Jordan. What I'm going to do first now, though, is I will hear from the city attorney. Mr. Kilpo, does the city wish to be heard on release? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, while the defendant doesn't have any other criminal history in the state of Washington, we did have an opportunity to run an NCIC. The defendant has quite a bit of history out of the state of Nevada, including multiple convictions for failure to register as a convicted felon. Um, it does look like he has some uh, substance dealing charges that he initially was convicted on. Due to those, the nature of those charges, multiple convictions for that, and now the defendant now being here in the state of Washington, the city would ask the court maintain the $1,000 appearance bond that was set previously. I do know that there's nothing here in Washington. However, the most recent convictions were from 2019, I do believe 2020. So pretty recent history out of the state of Nevada. Does Mr. Jordan have any um, warrant history on those cases? And, Your Honor, it's unclear from the... Um, the NCIC report as to whether or not he has warrant history on those cases. I know he has convictions, though. Okay. Mr. Lockhart, would defense like to be heard? Hey, Your Honor, based on the nature of the fence and based on the extremely limited history here, um, this is the only allegation in Washington State. Uh, we're just asking for a PR release today. Thank you. Okay. Well, <clears throat> absent any additional information, I, I really still think I'm I'm going to release Mr. Jordan over the city's objection. I don't see any, as far as I can tell, in front of the court, I don't see any warrant history. This is a nonviolent property offense. Uh, Thank you, sir. So, I just want to be, I just want to be with my family. All right, Mr. Mr. Jordan, I'm going to go ahead and give you one shot here, sir, based on the nature of this allegation. <clears throat> to be Thank crystal you. clear, you need you to. Want me. You I need to come it. to court, I, okay? Okay. When I get back to Bellingham today, I come to the court. I say, please tell me what to do. I do. Okay. All right. Well, Mr. Jordan, I'm going to go through the conditions with you here. I'm going to fill out the paperwork. I'll read it to you as I go. Um, you and, will be released and, and, on your personal recognizance today based on the fact that 
Again, this is a nonviolent offense, and as far as the court understands, there's no warrant history to speak of. So you will be released on that basis. Um, you will need to appear timely for your future scheduled court hearings, Mr. Jordan. Have no new criminal law violations while this case is pending. I am going to set you a new court date. <clears throat> that court date is going to be November 19th at 1.30 in the afternoon. That's here at the Bellingham Municipal Court. You will get a copy of the order, Mr. Jordan. So it it's going to have the court date on it. You don't, you, know, you don't need to write it down right now. You'll get the paperwork that tells you when to come back to court. Okay? And then um, other than that, Mr. Lockhart, it, I mean, it sounds like Mr. Jordan probably would qualify for counsel. Mr. Jordan, are you currently employed at this time, sir? I, spe I special needs. I, I use all my pennies to make art in the community the, the correct way. The okay. officer man said, do it right. I did it right. And I got permanent residency of my artwork in WCC College. Okay. I'm going to find you eligible for the public defender, Mr. Jordan. I want to make sure you have an attorney assigned on this case. So we will get you an attorney can you assigned. Can you tell them to let me go now? Now. Tell them to let me go. They can have my clothes. I just want to go home to my daughter. Okay. Well, sir, you're going to get released today as long as nothing else is holding you, which I don't think it is. I'm not holding you on this is, charge. Is anything holding me? I want to know. And your honor, nothing further from the city. I need to run up to the arraignment calendar. Thanks, Mr. Kilfall. Thank you. We'll double check real quick, Mr. Jordan. Give me just a minute. And it's starlight because the, the, the court honor, man there. There's nothing, there's nothing no other holds with score. Great. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Lockhart just confirmed that you have no other holds at score, sir. So you will be released today. Okay. And can I ask you a question, Mr. Sir? Sure. And, all right. The, the, how does, because I'm special me, so I don't really know. But the, the court man there, the beautiful judge man there, he blow the bubbles when he make you a new man. He made me from slave master name to new name. And and, and I don't know how that worked. I, I just I just know when him bless me this, that I've been better and better as a person. And I've been in the community okay. to make art. So Mr. Jordan, sheriff, what you'll what you'll wanna do in regard to your name change, I have no jurisdiction over that, which means I can't I have no authority to to do anything in regard to your name change, what you want to do, if there's an issue with it, you can talk to your attorney about it. I did assign you counsel. Now, realistically, I don't know if they're going to have any information for you either, but that's okay. who you want to talk to. I'm not allowed to give you legal advice, sir. And your honor, I All think right. I, and you know, his and name and was sir? changed. It's was. in the driving record as the updated name of Starlight. Oh, great. So I think it's just the fact that Jabs is still listing the older name in there. I don't know if there's an AKA or not, but I think what he's no said, AKA. It was changed. No. Okay. I start like. All right. Well, sir, that that makes sense. I can see what counsel's talking about. It looks like the name change obviously did go through. Uh, it's just that yeah. this case is from before the name change occurred, so uh, it's still listed under your old name, sir. All right. And then and then why didn't they read me me rights when the police grabbed me? That I, I can't answer, sir. You'll have to talk with your attorney about that. I don't have any information in that regard. How long did it take me to let go and do they give me cab back home or do I have to, to try to find my own way and then somebody kidnap me or something? I believe they give you a bus pass, but I don't know for sure, uh, sir. You'll just need to speak with speak with the uh, officers down there at SCORE, but you should get released and, very shortly. And, and you can, can, you have them ex can you have them expedite my release so I can get to my daughter's place? So, sir, yeah, we're going to send the release order over right now, and they'll release you during their, you know, the way they, they normally do it. I expect it will be out very soon. So, Mr. Uh, Starlight, is that your last name now, Mr. Starlight? Yes, Starlight, yes, sir. Okay. Starlight is my name. All right, well, Mr. Starlight. I'm going to go ahead and your, your hearing is concluded. You will be getting released today. Make sure to show up for your next court date and then make sure to speak with your new attorney. Okay, sir. Okay. We'll do. Th right. th thank you. You got, you got an art piece coming for you, sir. I'm going to make an art for you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Starlight. You have a good day, sir. We're going to go off the record. Okay. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Be safe, be well, sleep sweet, and much love.